weather with Damian Lotus. Yesterday we were dealing with severe weather and devastating tornadoes, especially across southern Oklahoma. Today we were on the other side of that cold front. I was tracking cloudy skies and cold weather. An updated look at your almanac for today. We started off a little bit below normal this morning at 39, and then we ended up way below normal this afternoon, only getting up to 53 degrees here for Oklahoma City. Here's a time lapse over the last two hours. We still have cloudy skies and some cold weather, but the rainfall has now started to dissipate for the metro. Still got some lingering showers across far northern and northeastern Oklahoma. Most of the rainfall is going to stay to the north of I-44. It's moving pretty slow, so the Tulsa metro is going to get a little bit of rainfall for tonight. For the Oklahoma City Metro, we had some showers off to our east pushing through Prague, but now just cloudy skies, a little bit of mist, some drizzle, and possibly some fog. Here's we head into tonight, but temperatures are, it's cold outside, upper 30s to low 40s. We still have some breezy north winds outside, and look what that's doing to our wind chills. Right now in Oklahoma City, feels like 36, feels like 34 currently for you folks joining us in Enid, so that's going to be a cold one. As we head into tonight, I'll be tracking Partly cloudy skies. We'll still see some breezy north winds from about 20 to 30 miles an hour. But look at these lows for tonight. Getting down to 35 degrees here for Oklahoma City. Our normal low for this time of year is supposed to be 41. We're going to be well below that for tonight. Those are the air temperatures. This is what it's going to feel like here for your early Wednesday morning. It's going to feel like 26 degrees here for Oklahoma City around sunrise. So I know we're officially in the springtime, but I hope you haven't put away those winter jackets just yet because you're definitely going to need them heading out the door tomorrow morning. And for your hour by hour forecast for tomorrow, I'll be tracking some sunshine finally starting to peek through the clouds here for your Wednesday and highs will make it into the 50s. That's not going to be too bad, right? And speaking of not too bad, your adoptable pet for tonight. This is Vincent. He's available for adoption from Safe Haven Animal Rescue here in Oklahoma City. We need to get this sweet guy right here a forever home. So that's your hour by hour forecast for tomorrow. Highs across the state for your Wednesday. Upper 40s, low 50s. Still below the normal high of 65, but I'll take highs in the 50s over highs in the 40s anytime in spring, right? We're getting up to 49 degrees tomorrow for Ponca City and Enid. Looks like we'll tap 51 the afternoon high tomorrow for you folks in Stillwater. For Oklahoma City tomorrow, looks like we'll get up to 53 here for our high. Still tracking some breezy north winds though. But as we head into Thursday, that's when it looks like we're going to start to turn the corner with both the sunshine and the temperatures. We'll see sunny skies, breezy north winds, and highs on Thursday will make it into the upper 50s to even some low to mid 60s here across southern and southwestern parts of the state. And then on Friday, Friday's when the weather's really going to start to rebound. Friday afternoon, I will be tracking lighter winds. Highs will make it to the mid to upper 60s, even some low to mid 70s back in the forecast here for your Friday afternoon. So tonight's going to be cold. Tomorrow's going to be decent. But Thursday and Friday is going to be when we really start to see that temperature and that forecast turn around. So for your seven day forecast, sunrise tomorrow is going to be at 731. Our normal high is supposed to be 65. So we're still going to be below that for tomorrow, but still tracking some decent weather for us. A cold start tomorrow, though. Wind chills will be in the 20s. And speaking of cold starts, lows on Thursday morning will be right around freezing. So for you gardeners out there, keep that in mind. Our average last freeze is early April, so we're not done with the cold weather just yet. But as we head into the weekend, I'll be tracking upper 60s to low 70s. Lots of sunshine. This is my kind of spring weather. We'll even make it into the 80s as we head into the early parts of next week. But by about midweek, I'll be tracking a little bit of a pattern change. A cold front will bring us our next chance of showers and storms and a little stretch of cool weather as we head throughout next week. But in the meantime, decent weather here for tomorrow, but the weather is really going to start to rebound as we head into the weekend. Thank you. The top ranked Sooner women taking their high powered bats into SEC country. And it is time for